once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. We're here today with another episode of 10 Burning Questions and today I'm joined by a very special member of my community, Bam Bam Productions. Now this guy, uh, I want you to introduce yourself properly but he's been an avid collector and member of our growing community for like a year now and he's become more and more personally invested in the domain, even producing videos for our channel. Why don't you introduce yourself, Bam Bam, how are you doing today? Oh, uh, you know, I'm uh, sitting here, living the dream. Not too, too popular, you know, I've got no YouTube channel or nothing, but I, I make a lot of customs and... Uh, you do I have a YouTube channel. A lot of custom. <laughs> I got, I got a couple, a couple thousand views on one video, but it's only because it was new sets oh, yeah. when they were just released, you know what I mean? And yeah, uh, yeah. that's the only reason. That's but the yeah. big views. And that's I got called out for not having a shirt on a couple times. <laughs> well, Bam Bam Productions is, he is a YouTuber that is incredibly talented in many different aspects of Mega Constructs. He makes really cool customs, epic dioramas, and huge builds of some of my favorite pieces from Halo, some of my favorite levels from Halo. And uh, I, I can see your, 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 your skill levels expanding by the day, my friend. And that's why you've joined the domain to start making videos with us. I mean, you're, you're an equal part of this channel now. Thank you, brother. So um, we're going to ask you today 10 burning questions from myself and then some of our questions from our Discord too. Number one from me, i like to start off with this question. Why do you collect Halo? I collect Halo for the most part because when I was really young, like Halo 2 and me and my brother, we used to kill that game. It was the first game that I got to play that was like really you know, M rated. Yeah, sure, yeah. So when I was growing up, the, one of the first sets I ever got was the uh, the first Pelican. Building that and building it totally wrong, just, you know, it made my day. <laughs> and uh, nice. I ended up I ended nice. up collecting for a little bit and it wasn't really, it was more of like a childhood kind of collecting and playing with and mm -hmm. ended up giving a, a lot of it away. And I really regret that because what really got me back into it was starting customs my little brother he plays oh, he sure. plays fortnite and he really wanted a uh, skull trooper or whatever right so uh, mm. i made that i was like man i can really do this but sure. yeah that, that really got me back into it and then i started watching what got me connected with you was watching that 70s dude and uh oh yeah yeah now miniature yes, hobbyist yeah. yes there i started watching your videos once again oh so you watch the ss motion as well that's great yes, buddy <laughs> oh wait one second here I got the ss motion shirt right there hey and the buddy. belly gang yeah, too yeah buddy you already know it <laughs> You are an avid fan. Uh, well, I, I don't even like that word. Like, we're, we're brothers in this collecting. I guess that leads me into my next question. How long have you actually been collecting Halo 4? About a year and a half. That's not long when you consider your collection. Yeah. You like to buy ridiculous amounts, like big lots, that no, no sane man would ever sort through, and then you'll just, like, dump them on your floor in, in, in excessive amounts and slowly, slowly come through. You always come to me complaining and I say, uh, you, it's, you bring this on yourself, you know what I mean? I recently started taking out all the yellow blocks. Mm. They catch the eye yeah. right away, so I just take them all yeah. out right away. I'm, just, I'm not even When you get that. to the different levels of grey though, you're gonna have a bad time. If you've been collecting for like a year and a half, I'm sure you had like a couple of pieces before then. What was your very first piece of MCX that you had in your collection? Probably blind bags. Um, they started showing mm. up at Walmart. Yeah, blind bags are always <laughs> the way you get you get started on blind bags, and then it's just a slippery slope from there. You're like, oh, this is only three dollars. Oh, this next set's only five. Oh, only ten dollars. That's pretty cheap. Hundred, two hundred dollars. <laughs> like, yeah, it it goes from there. Yeah. But the first um, set. Okay. Yeah. Was uh, the Pelican. Just before this interview with you, I sat down with Halo Collectors Heaven... Uh, Heaven Curd. <laughs> Heaven Curd. Uh, just before this, I sat down with Halo Collectors Kevin Hurd, and the most interesting question that I asked him was, why do you think MCX and Halo in general just outlives every other toy brand in terms of like longevity on the shelves? So many years after having a mainline Halo game, they're still in Target, they're still in Toys R Us. Like, why do you think that is? Well, it's, it's all about it. You gotta notice that, you know, before Halo Infinite was announced, the fan base for it was a lot lower. It was dipping. That it's the younger generation that are coming back because right. Halo Infinite's about to come out and they see these things, they're like, oh, yeah. I need that. Is Master Chief's in Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I always say, Master Chief in Fortnite, yeah. bring it on. Like, let's get these okay. new fans in. Whatever. Let's try, let's, 
Halo is about to inflate to to a degree that I don't think we've seen since Reach, and I'm all for it. I'm very excited as long as we don't get a a, a Cyberpunk 2077 situation. But uh, let's 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 hope we're good there. I checked out your YouTube channel. Uh, the very first video you uploaded, at least publicly, is Crossroads Episode mm -hmm. One: The Road Less Traveled. Even then, it's a very impressive stop motion. Like you do have some stop motion no. skills. Uh, I just was supposed to make more episodes. I actually did make another episode, and I uploaded it for like a month. Then I took it down, so it was just right. It was cringy. <laughs> it was real cringy. I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, you did uh, an excellent animation recently that was the Master Chief versus Predator. And it's a really good video, but I, I remember you came to me and you said, like, this this just takes oh, yeah. too long. Definitely. Like, the, this, the animation process. The reward is there. Like, the, the end product is is epic. But, uh, yeah, it, it takes some time. I hope you get oh, back into hopefully. it. It's very good. <laughs> as well as stop motion, you're also a very talented custom mm -hmm. designer. Recently, you've been making custom flood figures and vehicles. And they... That are the piece de resistance of, of Halo, you know. Uh, why don't you talk me through your favorite flood custom you've made so favorite, far? Favorite? That's a flood. It's actually a top secret. Oh, it's a top secret, is it? I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping but, some um, of them arrive on my door my one second, day. <laughs> my second would have to be just the basic infection. Mm. I, or not infection, uh, mm. combat form. On my Insta, I used a Ninja Turtle, like the fly oh, from yeah, the Ninja yeah, Turtle yeah, set. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like right grotesque, <laughs> nasty looking. It's it's pretty it's pretty gross, but it's just it's basic too, right? Like it's just down to the just that side, mm. and everything else is mm. plain. It's not even changed mm. at all from the torso mm. down. Pretty gross, yeah. The flood custom Billy the Grunt is one of the most popular videos on my channel right now. People love it, so I'm really hoping we can collab on that in the future. I know we're collabing on that in the future, so stay tuned, guys. It's uh, it's really exciting. We touched on this a little bit uh, before Halo uh, Infinite, and we'll touch on it again real quick. The growth of the community in 2020 has been wild, right? 2020 was was an unfortunate year for many reasons, but the Halo community and the MCX community also went with it. I'm so excited to see where it goes when Halo Infinite drops. Do you think Halo has the ability to take like the number one spot in, in gaming? I've been hearing all kinds of stuff, like how Bungie uh, workers have been going on and off, mm -hmm. different yeah. ones. It's yeah. turbulent, but every time we get one of those Inside Infinite updates, I become more and more hopeful. It looks fantastic. I was saying back in the E3 demo, it looked good to me. It wasn't polished, but everything was there for it to be like a classic Halo thing. 3 romp, you know? They're going to do something different. Mm. They got an open world now, and they're really gonna try their hand. It's, it's almost a gambit, mm. you know? They're, they don't know if it's gonna work, but it's gonna work if they do right. it right. Like, you right. know what I mean? Like, if you couldn't stray off and do side quests, that'd be cool. Everybody's going on about Mendicant mm -hmm. Bias and how he could be a, a, a big part about it in the Silent Shadow. Could channel. be. Yeah, but it's probably going to be a form of, like, a, a Far Cry situation mm. where you could easily go right through and beat the game in yeah. seconds. Yeah, sure. You know what I mean? Sure. But everything seems to be good. And the MCC updates okay. we're getting right now are just incredible. I mean, incredible. Yeah. Um, so, talking about growth of the Halo community in 2020, how has your collection grown in 2020? Because I know it's <laughs> it's blown up, right? Oh man, it's nuts. Um, I've just been trying my very best to... Uh, control yourself? Best? <laughs> yeah, it's control myself. But I get a lot of cheap yeah. stuff too, right? Like, I don't sit there and I, I, I'll wait to be able to find mm. something that's lowered. Mm. I'm not just gonna go on eBay and go, hey, I want that right now. Yeah, don't I can pay. Wait. Don't pay. I've already waited prices, this long. Yeah, 100%. But yeah, I've actually just uh, got a nice chunky haul. You that, did. Uh, you did. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, from it's undisclosed a a, location, very top secret. I got it from a a UNSC a base. A UNSC base. Yeah, <laughs> and it's all sealed. I'm very excited to get a couple yeah. of those little things for myself. All right. So oh, yes. uh, yeah, your collection is basic. Probably like tripled in size last year. Well, I mean, you can just look right there for. That's Just flex a little bit. You can flex. There. Don't worry. Starcraft. Starcraft Starship. That, you know, <laughs> so all, what's your what is sure. what is the what is the uh, creme de la creme of your collection? Like what is the number one piece that you're just so happy with? Doesn't even need to be a value. Just what is your favorite? What is your proudest piece? Let me take off the big old headset. That's a beautiful That's set. set. Yeah, the Shadow Convoy. Oh man, That's I don't knock that. I got mad respect for that being your favorite. I mean, that set is wild. It just came with so much. It seemed very 
unexpected. I remember I made a video on it way back in the day. This thing is unreal. So I'm gonna try and go through as much as I can. We have got a prophet of truth. Way back in the day. We're on to our last question now, for me at least. Do you want to shout out a particular member of the community that either rallies behind you on your videos or a particular guy that has helped you along your collecting journey. And you're not allowed to say me. <laughs> oh, come on, Helen. I like everybody in the Patreon that we, because we just talk to each other so yeah, much. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? yeah. And it's just kind of a peaceful place, like as opposed to off topic in the Discord. <laughs> You know I, I don't mean? go That's to just... off topic in the Discord. I do not go there. Man, just see some of those questions that they wanted you to ask me. I know. <laughs> when I do these 10 burning questions, I open it to the Discord to ask questions, and I do always use a lot of them. Yeah, they were asking some uh, some questionable <laughs> things. <laughs> Heavy weapons guy. Heavy weapons he's guy. Heavy there. weapons guy. He's a, he's he's a Patreon usually... now. He's... <laughs> Yeah. He goes he's by Chunky Chief. There, like, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. there is a lot of really cool people in the community. I mean, I, I, I thank each and every person that's helped us get to 30k. We've been pieing hard, now we got to 30k. It's been fantastic. I cannot wait to see the, the position we're in when we get to Halo Infinite, truly. I want to thank you for being a part of that. You're, you're helping me along this journey, uh, arguably more than anyone. I got you, brother. <laughs> Shit, yeah, loud man. Shit, yeah. I want to I wanna end every... Oh no, that's the that's the damn repair man. <laughs> uh, well, that's the repair. Thanks, every guys. Wait, no, no, we're not done. Hold on, I'll actually tell him to wait ten minutes. Uh. Hello. Hi, sorry. Uh, I said thirty minutes. Uh, my girlfriend just has a class. Thank you so much. I'm going to say. Straight up. Told him. <laughs> but he told him. I totally him just no. lied. Yeah, yeah. But he put that right in the I'm video. I'm keeping that in the video, 100%. <laughs> All, right. All right, so I like to end every one of these by asking you, what character in Halo would you be and why? But I think I'd be six. He's the Grim Reaper. You know what I mean? He's the one who's coming for you in the night. And, uh... Yeah? You know, he's, he's, he's silent about it. He's, he's not the type to be in your face. But if I didn't want to die... <laughs> if I didn't want to die, eventually... <laughs> from being a Spartan. I feel like he could have found a way <laughs> off the planet. I feel like there were just some he rockets could've. lying oh. around, you know, if he really wanted to get out of there. I just watched a video of this guy who actually made a really good theory about how he could have survived by getting a ship and it was crazy. He mm. said it like a story. He said there was an elite that was still on the ship and he lashed his energy sword. Like he made an actual, like, and I believed it for, you know what I mean? Mm. Like it, it could be possible. You look at like at the beginning of Halo 5 Guardians when Spartan Vale just like jumps straight into that phantom and just destroys it instantly. You feel like he could have just like got a jetpack on, mm -hmm. like got up to one of those phantoms, even just hijacked a Banshee and just got yeah. the heck out of there. Maybe he wanted to go down with the ship. I bet he could have hijacked it if he had a grappling hook. Aye, <laughs> well, Halo Infinite. <laughs> okay, so we've gone through my 10 burning questions, plus bonus. And now we're gonna head over to our Discord where you guys can ask our guests whatever you want. I won't ask the weird ones, but there we go. Um, so, well, I got a couple of weird ones. <laughs> uh, the first one is from Long Strokey Banana Man the... <laughs> Alright, the first one is from Long Banana Man the Third, and he asks, do you believe in Santa Claus? On occasion? But mostly yes. You know when like even when you're a grown man, you can be like watching a Christmas film and in your mind you're like that, that, but maybe. <laughs> like you know that's you try and convince yourself, you're like, yeah, but it it could happen. Wimple today asks, what kind of shampoo do you use? Oh uh, man, I use a bar of soap, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's the most yeah, it, it yeah, gets you the yeah. cleanest. And the only serious question today is from CK. 19 but new he asks what's your opinion on ac figures being common in blind bags honestly like it shouldn't be common to the point where... i don't think it's that good i don't know it's not good yeah. it's not good at all no it's not i, good I don't at all. want like five ac master chiefs it seems weird i only but want i don't one. think that sh they should be rare i don't even think they should be in there that's what i mean mm. <laughs> I don't. Mm. Just because. Do you think like, they should reintroduce chase figures? Oh yeah, definitely. Hundred percent. They should. They, that should be the case. Mm. That should be the chase figure, or they should just release a set mm. with, you know, the the active because nobody just wants to randomly get that thing. They want to be able to buy it. You know. 
No. Like a chase no. figure, yeah, because then exactly. it's so yeah, yeah. that you're you're lucky to have it. But mm-hmm. like just to have it as an as an mm-hmm. ultra or a rare or whatever, and then you open it and it's like you yeah. got three yeah. of them. It's like what am I gonna do with three Master Chiefs that are invisible? Well, they used to do it in blind bags that the AC was included with another figure. You got two in mm-hmm. one bag. So I think that that's probably the best of all worlds. We still got a line of new figures. We got new molds. We got all kinds of these crazy new builds yeah. that are so unique. The Warthog. Like, this, you build the seats. You yeah. build the seats. Like, yeah. When have we ever built a seat? <laughs> you build <laughs> like, the seats, on, Daniel. Like, well, Daniel, Bam Bam Productions, that is my 10 burning questions, plus some from Discord. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have mad respect for everything you do in the community and everything you're doing to help build the domain to new standards. And uh, let's just keep on working in the future, baby. All right. Yeah, Dan. And this thing is signing off. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. I bet you've always wanted to do that. <laughs> All right, that's a, that's a wrap. Cool.